So the neat thing about the tree canopy walkway is that it was the first one available to the public in the United States, built in 1999. Um, so it's a pretty unique thing to have here in New England. This is our equipment shed. Uh, we keep all of our climbing harnesses here in here. So you have kids and adults. So I'm just going to pass you guys a harness and just kind of hang on to it for a second. Take a look, see if you can make sense of any of the equipment, any of it looks familiar. Before you guys put anything on, I want you guys to find the front of your harness, and that's the part that has the half purple loop. If you need to adjust the leg straps to get it up, that's fine. You want to make sure that it's up over your clothes, and you want to tighten your waist strap first, because that'll hold it up on yeah. your waist while you tighten your legs. Does it feel like it's going to slide off of you at all? No. No? Then you're not. Keep your We're going to walk you guys out to the first platform, right in front of that yellow and black line on the platform there. As soon as you cross that gray flap right there, you are moving from something that's built into the ground to a platform that's built only on the trees. So, so when you get to the end of your first safety cable, you're going to unhook one and hook it onto your next destination. Then you can go back, grab your other one, and you can either hook it with that one or move on to the next one. But you always want to be hooked in with one. We have all kinds of birds, um, white-breasted nuthatches, chickadees, um, the occasional hummingbird you can see up here, um, downy woodpeckers as well. Um, we also have quite a population of butterflies, so early in the summer we'll see morning cloaks, some eastern tiger swallowtails, as well as some red-spotted purples later in the summertime. So it's a really good animal viewing spot. You know, tree canopies kind of started um, with the basis of research. Um, usually in the tropics. So we kind of took inspiration from different people's stories and different pictures we had seen. So we set out a cot, um, just a tarp as a roof and a mosquito net, um, just some stuff for kids to play with and kind of get a feel for what that would be like. Okay. For our black bears, you would definitely want to hang your food on a... So the zip line doesn't go anywhere. Like I said, it's manually run. So you need to be, you need to have a staff member who's ready to lower you before it goes. Pretty safe fun overall, but it gives you a nice thrill because you're up high and you still get to go fast on the zip line if you want to. So it has it's a little something for everybody, you know. There's thrill and minimal risk. Any outdoor activity, anything you do, um, there's risk involved in being on a tree canopy. It's minimal. It's been open for more than 10 years. We've never had more than a splinter and a stub toe. Um, you know, when you're on the zip line, there's really nowhere safe to hold everything that moves and pinch or burn is up and out of your reach um, and they're good places to put your hands anyway so well, that's never been an issue we have had one person jump um, that we were unprepared for but we have safety protocol so he didn't go anywhere <laughs> I think I was more afraid than he was but you know Did he it's, do it on purpose was he just he was just an excited kid <laughs> any final words no. <laughs> oh <laughs> Okay. I love trees! Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm absolutely ready! I'll unclip you. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so is this something you think you would want to do again or would you recommend this to your friends? Oh definitely. This is a lot of fun. Especially as being so close to home. Right? Okay. Yeah. What do you awesome. think? <laughs> awesome. Teresa, do you have any parting okay. words? Can we go it again? <laughs> <laughs>